If you're watching this video, you've probably heard of African lions that inhabit open savanna environments. But did you know that lions once lived on many other places around the world? During the ice ages that spanned from 2.6 to 11 and a half thousand years ago, lions were not just restricted to Africa. Throughout this time period, they inhabited Europe, Asia, and North America, giving them one of the largest ranges of any mammal. The lions that lived in North America were unsurprisingly called American lions, scientifically known as Panthera atrox. In this video, we will explore the biology of these fascinating ferocious animals. For starters, the American lion existed from about 370,000 to 11,000 years ago, existing for approximately 359,000 years. These lions were not only one of the biggest ice age predators in North America, but also possibly the biggest species of cat ever to have inhabited our planet. Estimates of this cat's height and weight are of course varied. However, it is in thought that these animals were probably around 11 feet long and 5 feet tall. It is also reckoned that these giant predators could have tipped the scales of up to 400 kilograms, by far outclassing the contemporary saber-toothed cat, which respectively weighed around 300 kilograms, thus making it the largest species of lion ever to live on our planet. This extinct lion was found throughout North America as well as North and South America, but for paleontologists, these lions are a source of debate as to how they're related to other big cats are uncertain. Luckily, for paleontologists, Roughly 100 fossils of this animal have been discovered in the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, which has given us amazing insights on what these giant predators would have been like in life. Though African lions can be seen hunting in groups called prides today, it is not certain if American lions did so as well. In fact, evidence from the Tar Pits may suggest that the American lion was in fact a solitary hunter. The La Brea Tar Pits have yielded a wealth of different fossil remains, with by far the most numerous being dire wolves and Smilodon, better known as the saber-toothed cat or tiger, while other carnivores like Arctodus, aka the short-faced bear and the American lion are found in much smaller quantities. Dire wolves are most certainly hunted in packs, like their surviving modern counterparts, the grey wolf, and Arctodus was almost certainly a solitary animal, like other modern bears. Smilodon also seemed to have had a preference for large prey like bison, which would have been easier to hunt in groups. Today, usually animals that hunt solitary have the lowest populations in the ecosystem. The fact that comparatively few fossils of the American lion have been found when compared to pack hunters like Smilodon and dire wolves suggests that they were perhaps solitary after all. While the above seems plausible, there are a few ideas that counter the theory of the American lion being solitary hunters. It may also be that the American lions in La Brea were individuals that had been kicked out of their prides and were left with little choice but to try and scavenge the carcasses in the tar pits. Today, prides of African lions are ruled by a dominant male, but periodically this male will have to fight with other roaming males that will challenge the male for control of the pride and the right to mate with the females. It is also worth considering that American lions may have had different behavior in approaching stuck animals at La Brea, with perhaps one lion walking ahead of the others to test the ground. If the lion made it to the stuck animal and seemed to be okay, the others would follow. But if the forward lion became stuck, the others would stay back. One possibility about the American lion hunting in packs is actually its association with the Eurasian cave lion. In Europe, cave art left behind by early people depicts the Eurasian cave lion as hunting in groups. With the American lion considered to be an offshoot of the Eurasian cave lion, it's reasonable to infer a greater possibility of this lion hunting in prides. Recent genetic testing suggests that American lions evolved from Eurasian cave lions that crossed the Beringia land bridge into North America. Some people consider the American lion to be a subspecies of the African lion, who are known as Panthera leo, which is why some people refer to the American lion as Panthera leo atrox. However, a large number of scientists consider the American lion to be distinct enough to be considered its own separate species, Panthera atrox. Most paleontologists do agree, however, that the American lion is most closely related to the Eurasian cave lion, known as Panthera splee, which is itself also been treated as a distinct species as well as a subspecies of African lion. 
mitochondrial DNA analysis has shown that the American Lion and Eurasian Cave Lion were almost identical. Current thinking is that the Eurasian Cave Lion crossed over the Bering Strait land bridge into North America during the Ionian stage of the Pleistocene. The resulting small population would have had a limited gene pool, where new traits such as growing slightly larger would have been easier to establish, especially if the larger size was a benefit in the new environment. An international team of researchers led by the Swedish Center of Paleogenetics analyzed 31 mitochondrial genome sequences from the Eurasian cave lion. Their results show that the Eurasian cave lions diverged from present day African lions roughly 1.8 million years ago. And it is believed that the American lion split from the Eurasian cave lion around 340,000 years ago, when an early population of Eurasian cave lions became isolated in North America. A 2016 study found that while the American lion is most closely related to the modern day African lion, it is genetically different enough to be classified as a distinct species. Today, the American lion belongs into the group of felines known as Panthera, which today includes four species of big cats, lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards. The oldest lion-like fossil is known from the Lateo site in Tanzania and is perhaps 3.5 million years old. Some scientists have identified the fossil as the modern African lion. Though these records are not well understood, and all that can be said is that they pertain to a lion-like feline. The oldest confirmed records of the African lion is unsurprisingly in Africa, and is about 2 million years younger. The closest relatives of the African lion are the other species of big cats in the Panthera genus, the tiger, the jaguar, and the leopard. Panthera diverged from other cat species about 11.3 million years ago. Morphological and genetic studies suggest that the tiger was the first of the four recent species to diverge in the Panthera genus. About 1.9 million years ago, the jaguar branched off the remaining group, which contained the ancestors of both the lion and leopard. The lion and leopard subsequently separated about 1 million to 1.25 million years ago. In terms of the American lion's diet, it was likely a fierce predator, and in spite of their massive weight, these big cats were very fast. They had long slender legs that allowed them to reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. The speed and bulk of these giant animals helped them to catch large prey. The American lions hunted other large ice age animals, including camels, giant ground sloths, bisons, and possibly even the famous woolly mammoth. Scientists do not yet know if the American lion hunted by itself or in groups as previously discussed. Regardless, the American lion was very successful Fossils have been found as far from Canada to Mexico. A study that analyzed the American lion's teeth showed that despite being an extinct cousin of today's lion, Panthera atrox apparently may have eaten like a cheetah. By comparing the dental topography of scratches and pits on the molars of extinct cats with the micro damage on teeth of modern cheetahs, lions, and spotted hyenas, carnivores with known dietary preferences, the researchers were able to outline the feeding habits of the saber-toothed cat and American lion. The results contradict what paleontologists have often thought about these big cats. Damage on the extinct cat teeth fossils indicated that it avoided chewing on bones. Yet many American lion specimens, about 36% found so far, have broken canine teeth. Panthera atrox may have been a large herbivore specialist, but hunting large animals may have put it at a greater risk of breaking its piercing canines when trying to subdue its victims. Well that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.